So you can see I did something to my head. <laughs> and also my, I don't know, I have some kind of rash. So it's, my eye is swollen. Um, I have little rashes here and there all over my body. It might be from a dietary supplement we've been using. We'll see. So here's our pipe coming from the wood boiler. It took me more than a whole day to cut that hole in that concrete with a hammer drill and what do you call it? A rotary hammer. I had to buy a tool to be able to do it. Sprayed some foam in there so it's all sealed up and insulated. But later I'm gonna come back with silicone and I'm gonna seal that thing up completely waterproof. Then we can put the rest of this dirt in the ground. Got a lot of holes. Still have some electrical to hook up. But that's it for the trenches. We'll be able to fill it all in. So that was our most difficult kite. It's one I've never been able to fly before. I took it out, I said, we're gonna try it one last time. And if it doesn't work, I'm throwing it away. So now it's in the trash. So this kite takes a lot of wind. We have a lot of wind today. We have other kites that can't handle a lot of wind, so we're not gonna bring them out. When we go to the beach, we like to hang lights on the string, so we have these little black threads on here from last time we were doing that, that are, we use those uh, snap, those snap lights, the chemical lights. We just noticed some buds on this uh, peach tree. This is the tree that uh, Monica, Rico, Victoria, and Isabel gave us. So that's pretty neat to see that. But then we also noticed that Claire had planted a bunch of uh, tulips around this tree. 
we see them popping up out of the ground all over the place here. So that's a flower bed that needs to get done. And also where we threw a bunch of flowers into the ground at the last minute last fall, we see some flowers really popping out of the ground over here. A whole bunch of them. There's some really beautiful ones. But here I am again today, filling in my hole. I've got more silicone than you've ever seen sealing up that hole to the house. I hope that keeps the water out of our house. I'm gonna put some more on there too after it sets up better. But I'm also digging out where we want a concrete patio here. So while I'm filling in the hole, I might as well be digging that out. It's a nice windy day been enjoying some kite flying. So we're candling our eggs. They've been in the incubator for 10 days. We do see dark, a dark ring. We don't see a lot of veins, but maybe we could do it again. We have to do it fairly quickly because we don't want all the humidity to leave and the temperature to leave. They have to be at 97, is that right, 97? I don't think that was. It's a really dark see. area. I'd keep them and going. They need to be at 55% well, humidity and it's already down to 28. They all look like they have dark, a dark ring. But I don't see any. The whole top is just dark. Yeah, I don't see any veins. I guess if we did it again. Oh, can't. See, some of the shells are so thick you can't really see. I don't know if you can, on the video, can tell anything, honestly. It's already been a couple days and I'm seeing some feathers showing up on the wings. We all have some individual feathers. Here's the progress on the winemaking. I just finished uh, transferring the grapes back and forth between these uh, between these buckets to get all the uh, skins and seeds and everything out. So that's what's in this uh, mesh bag, and also what's in the trash. So I've already thrown away that much. This bag is the last part that I squeezed out and I would just put the bag in the bucket and pour the other bucket into it. Uh, did that a couple times until I got all the seeds out. Please excuse the mess in the corner here. <laughs> Everything is an ongoing project and ultimately is uh, just a cleanup project if nothing else. Um, so now I'm going to take this uh, juice and I'm gonna siphon it into the bottle so we can start racking it, meaning letting all the, all the sediment fall out. In the future when I rack it, I'm gonna put the hose all the way down to the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and do it this time too so that the wine can just pour out gently. Once you get a good pump on there, it just starts flowing. You can see that the juice, the juice is not clear at all. It's like 
murky and full of old yeast. The yeast dies when the alcohol level reaches a certain point. So there it is, siphoning into the glass carboy. And then we'll let it sit for a while until a bunch of the sediment falls out and rack it again into the other glass carboy. I'm gonna put a stopper on top so that uh, all we have in here is CO2 and not oxygen as we're letting it finish. Looks nice in that bottle. We put this little airlock. Um, you can see that this side is pushing down because the uh, it's still fermenting, so it's pushing out some bubbles that'll come out this side. Um, another thing I didn't mention is that we are doing a batch of farm fresh eggs that are starting right now. They're frozen, scrambled and frozen. And we're gonna let those go for, I don't know, average batch is probably 36 hours. This is the first time we've done eggs, so we'll just have to see how long they take. <laughs> 